Okay, today we've uh, taken a different location for uh, a review of the Sony HD Bloggy. Uh, you see it's a, a very handy uh, device that uh, can fit easily in the pocket. It uh, is very simply a 1080p uh, digital video recorder. The unit is uh, turned on by rotating the lens and the lens rotates 270 degrees. The image is only uh, shown in a portrait format here. Uh, if, you, if you happen to rotate it, it does not uh, rotate and uh, change the orientation of the video. Okay. Uh, straightforward. Okay. Let's go through the uh, external connections and then we'll go directly into the operation of the, the, the device. Okay. Here we have the AV out. Okay. So you can connect that up to your TV. It does not have a HDMI connector. Uh, below that you'll see a slide out USB connector and this USB connector actually uh, serves as the charging uh, point as well. Okay. Slide that back in there. On this side we have a sliding op slide open compartment. We have the battery pack. Uh, the battery pack uh, is indicated as a NP-BK1. You can see that. Okay. That's uh, a nice little latch there that uh, holds that in place. Uh, just below that you'll see that it is a uh, SD or a Memory Stick Pro uh, dual card holder. Uh, for this uh, I've used the Memory Stick which is included in the uh, package price. Close that shut. Over here we have a slider toggle which has a wide, a W and a T for wide and telephoto but this unit does not actually have an optical uh, zoom. It is a digital zoom. Okay. Got an on and off button but uh, that's uh, really not necessary since uh, the unit does uh, turn on itself when you open the lens. Okay. In the event that you only want to play back, you can press that button to turn the, the unit on and off. On the front or the face, well I guess you could call it a, a side, it does not necessarily indicate the face. We have uh, buttons for playback, navigation, and uh, menu settings. We can uh, get to that if we do force the unit on. Okay, it does indicate here to rotate the lens uh, in the open position to uh, start recording, but uh, right now we're not going to do any recording. We'll just go straight into the uh, playback. Okay, that may be a bit difficult to see uh, as uh, this uh, location does present some issues with. Uh, reflections on the screen. Uh, you can see basically it's easy to navigate get the menus. You can get in here to change uh, the settings uh, for the recording, the backlight. Let's see if we can uh, turn the backlight a little bit brighter and uh, whether or not you want the beep sounds, whether it's uh, video out is for NTSC or PAL and so forth. The clock settings, okay? Let's Press menu and get back out of here. Okay, so playback is, is, is straightforward. You can select the uh, item that you want to play and, and the joystick is a four-way and a fifth way is a, a, a button press in. Okay, so you can uh, zoom through uh, your recording with the joystick for forward and reverse. Alright, so let's uh, just come back out here. Okay, for the recording function uh, basically, you rotate the lens and uh, it starts, it, well it doesn't start to record because the uh, recording function is is uh, this button over here. So we can start recording and you'll see an indicator here that says uh, time recorded, the mode that you're recording in and the little red uh, dot which is typically the indicator for uh, recording. Alright, so let's uh, just record some footage there. I'm not sure if you can see that. I've got to get my uh, self-oriented. All right. Okay, so that, that will re-record itself. Um, we can see that. Okay. So it is a, a 270 degree lens. It will record as required. Uh, the one thing I did notice about the uh, unit was the uh, angle of viewing of this lens, uh, of, of this uh, LCD is, is quite shallow. So you will have to adjust that, which is not that difficult since this lens rotates. You can adjust that to a view that 
that makes the image uh, properly viewed to yourself. It's a small little uh, clip-on attachment. This device uh, looks a little bit strange at first. Okay, we get a close-up there. All right, it does have a little lens cap at the bottom. Uh, try not to lose that or you'll get a lot of dust and, and dirt in, inside there. And if you notice, if I rotate this open, it has a flat uh, position to where this will connect. And there's some uh, detents or indents on the side that holds that in place. Okay, so what is this device? It's basically a 360, day, 360 degree view. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the view has changed here uh, from a landscape view of the image that the lens would be taking to a circular uh, 360 degree view so it does look a bit distorted uh, I'm not sure if uh, recording video would be all that useful uh, but definitely if you're looking to, to capture a panoramic view of, of the location um, that you are visiting you can use the 5 megapixel camera uh, function okay there is a dedicated button to take photographs and uh, I can take a photograph here as we sit. Okay, so let me take another one here, see what we're getting at, getting into. Okay, so those uh, images can be uh, viewed with the Microsoft uh, Picture Browser software that's uh, included with the Sony HD Bloggy. The uh, suggested retail price of this unit is 399 Singapore dollars. Uh, your price may vary depending on your locale. Uh, do take a look for it uh, on Sony's uh, website and uh, your Sony stores near you. Thanks for watching uh, the video review of the Sony HD Bloggy. Uh, you can also look forward to some uh, samples of uh, myself and my uh, son gallivanting all over uh, on a recent trip to Toronto. Uh, thank you for watching again and uh, we'll see you next time at uh, another location like this or perhaps a similar location if I get uh, some good feedback. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,